What's up guys? ATV back with another video and I just wanted to say if you are here and you're new, hit that subscribe button y'all. Y'all really won't regret it. Anyways, this video is going to be teaching you how to become a YouTuber, what you need, what you need to do, how to keep your viewers on your page, how to promote yourself, how to get subscribers, how to get views. Now, as you see, I'm not the best YouTuber, but I do know how to start off and I do know how to get a good audience, you know what I'm saying? I know how to do it, bro. Right now, currently, as I'm making this video, I got 3.1K subscriber with a little over 60,000 views. It's not the best, but it will get you right. Step one, equipment. If you're starting off YouTube, bro, you do not need to buy some $1,000 camera, some $1,000 computer. You don't need to be dropping money like that. Now, it does require a 1,000 subscribers to get money off of there and 4,000 watch hours, which we'll talk about later in the video. But if you want to be a successful YouTuber, you need to start off with something small. Maybe your phone. If you have, maybe, if you just have a camera laying around, then shoot, you know, then use it. But I would say start off with your phone. Why? Because, I mean, it's a great way to start. And if you want to, like, just be on your phone all the time, there is this company called Moment. Oh, Moment could help you reach your goals in YouTube while being a vlogger on your phone. Um, the Moment wall, Walnut Wood case. Y'all, Christmas is coming up. If you want to shop at Moment, I'm going to put their link down in the description. Y'all, well... If you haven't seen the video that I did on the unboxing on Moment, I talked about Moment a lot more. Hey, I'm going to say this. If you don't even have five, oh, okay, this is my range, 400 to 500 subscribers, you should buy your first camera. The camera I'm using right now is the Canon G7X Mark II. I, in my opinion, it's one of the best handheld vlogging cameras and just at-home cameras. And maybe if you want also, you could buy you a little GoPro. Everybody knows GoPro. The reason I love GoPro is because you could just go out and literally do whatever you want with a GoPro. So yeah, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Obviously, if you're in the 20,000 range, 20,000 or up or 10,000 and up, or even, I mean, I'm at 3,000, but I, I do spend quite a bit of money on YouTube because it is what I want to do in life. It's it's just a really fun job. If you are around there, man, and you know this is what you want to do, drop money on it. But if you're at like 200 subscribers, don't spend $1,000 on a camera. Number two, consistency is key, okay? You can't upload a video and then be done with YouTube. If you're serious about YouTube, have a schedule. If you know me, I upload every single Monday, but... Sometimes I upload on Saturdays if I'm just feeling it. I just want to drop a video, I upload on Saturdays. But for sure, every Monday, you know you'll get a video. Unless I tell you otherwise, obviously. If I tell you I'm not going to upload this week, I won't upload. Consistency is key. You always want to have your viewers knowing your schedule. You don't ever just want to hide when you're going to upload. Upload once a month and then three months later, upload a really good video. And then a year later, you're done and then you upload a video. Like You don't want to do that. You just want to have a consistent key and do what you do best and have a consistent schedule. Quantity over quality. I don't even know what quantity means, but I know quality is a big thing in YouTube. If you don't know, I, for my, like... Like, for a bunch of videos, I use my iPhone 8, okay? I use my iPhone 8 to record half of my videos that is on my channel. My very first video was recorded on a tablet that was so slow that I could barely even upload the video. And then it crashed. I uploaded the video, then the tablet started working. Like, that's how bad the tablet was. My quality was so bad in that video, but I still kept it up just... You know, it's funny to look back at your first video, you know. Oh, so go out get you a good camera. If you're in the range of getting one and you need to invest better, you know. You can't just be spending thousands of dollars here and just expecting, expecting big results. So, record on your phone. Get good lighting. Get, look. Right now, what y'all are seeing is a ring light. Get you a ring light, you know what I'm saying? It really helps. As you see, you can see my face clearly. My camera can see my face clearly. Get some good quality. And yeah. Thumbnails. Y'all, I've been through heck with thumbnails. I make my thumbnails now. Before me, it was this dude named Cece. Yeah, I know it's a dude's name. And then before that, it was this girl named Chelsea. Now I make my thumbnails on my own, and hopefully one day if I get big or whatever, I have a professional thumbnail maker. Thumbnails are what gets your audience to click your video and your title. You have to have a good title, a catching title. Um, 
you have to let your viewers know what they're watching. Don't ever clickbait. Um, it's really not worth it. Um, I've clickbait like two to three videos just to, you know, mix things up. But I suggest don't clickbait. If you do clickbait, don't clickbait all the time because clickbaiting, click, click baiting will decrease your subscribers, decrease your views. They just know you're going to clickbait. Know what you're posting, okay? Know what you're posting. Don't post gaming and vlogs. And, like, you know, don't post everything, okay? If you don't know, I have a gaming channel. It is down in the description. I used to post gaming on this channel. And it was so cringy because my viewers would ask, are you posting gaming this week or vlogging this week? I'm like, you know, that's good. I should separate the channels and just be better, you know? But I do do vlogs, story times, challenges, pranks, all that stuff on this channel. Um, I think it's all in a good mixture of, like, in real life kind of things. The other things I do is like helpful tips on YouTubing and like stuff like this. The other thing is don't rush, like don't, uh, the don't rush your success. Don't quit because you haven't got a thousand subscribers. Don't quit, man. Keep uploading, keep doing you. I'm literally motivating you to do what you gotta do. Editing software that you could use. If you don't know about the, um, the uh, app iMovie, that's probably what I'm editing this video on iMovie is so easy to use if you want to just cut clips like um like let's say I mess up on a word like I'm saying holla bro like I mess up a word I'd cut that out I'd delete it I'd say the new word and I'd get on with the video cutting clips out of your videos is so easy with iMovie adding text adding pictures doing voiceover all that stuff is really good on iMovie so use iMovie another app is Adobe Flash use that I don't personally edit on my computer. Uh, if I want to do some little changes or whatever to my video, I do airdrop it to my MacBook, which is currently broken. Um, it's currently broken right now, so I don't use it as much. Uh, but I do use it once um, it's up and running. I do some little mods to in screens will help you as well. In screen animations, I'll probably um, I don't know look up, look it up on YouTube how to do that. Uh, I'm not going to make a whole separate video on that. In screen, you basically just uh, put other videos and tell them to subscribe at the end. Collaborations will also help very much. I have not collaborated with any YouTubers. I don't know. I guess YouTubers don't really want to collab with me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll collab with anybody. So if you want to collab, my Instagram's down in the description. Text me, let's collab. So yeah, collaboration will really help you too. But yeah, cheap budget things like such as, you know, tripods, ring lights, all that. Invest in that before you invest into big things, okay? Hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully it gave you a little just background on what to do, how to start. And uh, yeah, for all the topics that I have, you can look them up and just look more in depth to the details I was talking about. If not, you know, it's cool. It's your life. I don't, I'm not really going to tell you what to do. But um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're still supporting. If you're new, like I said, subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. Um, hit the like button so this video can get out. Share it to your friends if they want to start a YouTube channel. And HB will catch you on the next video. Peace.